Jalen, it seemed like you were a little bit more, well, I guess, selective with your offense. So it was 15 shots uh, tonight. What was it that you saw that made you uh, shoot less and maybe do other things? Uh, I guess it's just what the game called for. Um, you know, we are, you know, working on playing very, very intentional basketball. So, you know, making sure you make the right plays and, and stuff like that, you know, I guess. When, you know, obviously you're used to being one of the top options and, and what's it like now having been through 50 plus games, having uh, so many options on the floor that on, on a given night you can win a game, taking 15, sometimes you take more than that, but like just having these different types of games. I think it's important. It's all about, you know, building chemistry, building a team that will be prepared for later in the season. Um, right now, it's the Washington Wizards. You know, I could be aggressive, or we can find guys and, and, and play through them. You know, I think that we're building a, a a great team chemistry, and we're looking to be very intentional. You know, I have my opportunities to score the ball. Like I think I proved myself to be able to do that at the highest level. You know, so um, more about you know making sure our, our guys feel confident, making sure that you know we're getting the right reps in certain situations, and we're playing intentional basketball because that's what it's going to come down to in the playoffs. How much of that has a, a, been a mental shift for you as far as your approach to the game from prior seasons? Uh, it's a different approach, you know, but I, I'm thinking with long term in mind, you know, things that I'm focused on is making the right play each and every time down, um, guarding the basketball, being aware defensively, rebounding the basketball and trying to uh, be a leader and speak confidence into everybody that's around. Um, it's a different shift, but, you know, sometimes you got to, you know, do things to, to get different results. So uh, I think it'll pay off for us in the long run. It's It's been seven years since an all-star has been in the dunk contest. What convinced you to, to want to be in the contest at this stage in your career? Um, honestly, I, I think I'm in my athletic prime, uh, and I think it'll be fun. I wish more... Uh, top players slash athletes um, decided to compete in the dunk contest. You know, I grew up watching that and, you know, that's what I love. So, you know, hopefully, you know, that comes back around. When's the last time you were in a dunk contest? Last time? I don't think I've ever been in one. Really? I don't think so, no. That's kind of surprising you weren't in one in like high school or something. Nah, i never been. I don't think I've ever been in like an official one. Um, so this will be, you know, this will be a first for me. Jalen, <clears throat> excuse me, Jalen, as you, uh, you know, get closer to the All-Star break, it feels like there have been some moments of, you know, I mean, early in the season, you guys were blowing teams out, and it seems like it's happening a little bit less. How much of that is, are you guys talking about, like, you know, staying focused until you get to that break? Is that something you're conscious of, or is it just, you know, so happens to be that part of the season? Um, it's, a, it's a full journey in the season. You know, it's going to be highs and lows. It's going to be good games. It's going to be games you got to, you know, figure it out. Shots are going to go in. Shots are not going to go in. You know, as a team, being able to stick together through it all is what's important. Um, and that's what we've been doing. You know, every night is not going to always be perfect. We're not going to blow every team out every single night. Um, but we still find ways to win. We still find ways to add to winning. And that's important. Tonight, you know, uh, defensively, we needed to be better. They give credit to Washington. though they played really fast. They turned everything into transition, got us cross-matched, and uh, – that's what got us off to a slow start. You know, they got hot in transition, but, you know, we figured it out a little bit more towards the second half and was able to put them away. And then in years past, it feels like this is the type of game you guys might not have been able to get over that hump and come back from. How much progress do you think this group has made in that regard? Right, this is a different team. Like, like you said, we got a lot of options each and every night. Like, we can, we can play through, you know, a plethora of players, especially, um, you know, with this group. So... You know, being able to be poised at the same time, be, you know, sacrificial, but just be humble in a sense. Like, it's an honor to be on a winning team. They have the potential to play for something bigger than yourself. So, for me, that's all that matters. Whether I need to score the ball, pass the ball, walk the dog, you know, I'll, I'll do whatever it takes to win. So, you know, I'm just trying to be the best teammate and the best version of myself for my team. I want to go back to the dunk contest, please. What is the approach? If you haven't been in one, I mean, and, and we were talking to Alan, he's like, it feels like everything's been done. Uh, 
I think just, you know, like you said, everything has been done. I think just my approach is just to have fun with it and, uh, you know, put my own little style, my own little swag on things. You know, everything has been done. But, you know, you know I feel like I bring a uniqueness. So, you know, I'm, I plan on putting my own style and bringing my own swag to it and just go from there. Have you started working on dunks? Uh, a little bit, a little something, something, you know. Um, we'll see uh, when it comes time. And Joe made a side comment that uh, he feels like you guys are like the Spider-Verse. Everybody on this team is a Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, everybody like needs that. to be, I guess everybody needs to be Spider-Man out there. Um, so um, whatever that means. Yeah, what does that mean to you? <laughs> I have no idea, actually. <laughs> but, you know, it just needs to be said. So I have one more on Joe. Go ahead. He said he told a couple jokes in the third quarter to break up the tension. Yeah. Did he do that? Yeah, I mean. Does he do that often, I guess? Um, Joe, tell jokes. Yeah. Uh, I, I wouldn't say he does it often, but I think he de he definitely, uh, you know, tries to put his personality in there. You know, some days he has, be he has better luck than today, <laughs> I, w I would say. but He told us they were very funny. That's what he told you? Yeah. Then I guess we're, that's what we're going to go with. <laughs> I, uh, we were losing at the time. I didn't find it funny. <laughs> um, but I understand, you know, that's Joe. Thank you. Um, what was your reaction to the trades that uh, landed two new players, but also leaving, losing two players, losing two teammates? Um, yeah, that's the, the, um, the part of the business that kind of sucks. Um, you build relationships with guys, and then they, they, you know, they're here, then they're no longer here, and that's just a part of the business. And I wish those guys the best. I'm um, Lamar, um, DB, been able to, you know, connect with them while they were here, um, which were great teammates. Did their job night in and night out. You know what I mean? Like we're great teammates. So um, I wish them well on their journey. And then we welcome the two new guys that we walked in. It was Springer and it. And Xavier, I just think they, they add to winning. You know, from what I've seen, the clips, and even playing against them, you know, what they bring from a toughness standpoint and a defensive standpoint, I think this team definitely needed that for sure. And to be able to do it and add and, and, and add to our rotation of players, um, it just adds another level of physicality that we need. So uh, I think two great contributions, and I welcome them to Boston. Last question, Garrett. Uh, one quick one dunk contest. Are you a prop? J Jason said he'd volunteer to like stand under the rim or whatever. Will you use him or will you? Are you, are you thinking about props? Is that something that, or some dunkers don't like those? What, what's your thoughts on that? Uh, my thoughts on it. I think everybody, you know, gonna do what they feel comfortable with. I may or may not use any props. You know, I got about you know six in the chamber or whatever. We'll see which ones I end up going with. Um, but definitely, um, you know, be on the look for JT to make an appearance on it. So um, definitely want to, you know, use the All-Star weekend, the fun activities to be able to build with your teammates and stuff and share some of that. So, you know, uh, if JC is available, for sure, he'll be, it'll be fun. And one more, third quarter, you guys kind of won the game. I mean, you, you outscored 36-16, you played great defense. How do, how do you kind of turn it on like that after allowing 71 in the first half and then just kind of taking control? Like, in, it, it, is it not good to flip the switch sometimes? Do you, is, or is that a good thing to sometimes be able to flip the switch? Uh, I don't think it was a, a, a switch flip. I just think that we kind of was kind of consistently playing. And then I think maybe we wore them a little bit and was able to, to break through. You know, they played with pace for the first half. And midway to the third quarter, I feel like they were they were wanting to track me, and you know I feel like they slowed down a little bit going into the third and the fourth, which allowed us to have our imprint on the game. Um, but credit to Washington, when you know if you're a team that's struggling and you play fast like that and you hit some shots and any given night you could be into a game, um, and that's just the the pace that they play with tonight. They made a lot of shots, and they had a chance. They put themselves in a chance to win. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.